Previewed with Adam and Jay. Uh, I'm Adam. And I'm Jay. Today we're going to react, review, riff, and at the end we're going to rate the brand new trailer for the next James Bond movie, No Time to Die. Got no Time to Die! No Time to Die. Not right now, because there's a Bond movie coming out next year. Yeah. It, I, it, this is the, the sequel, the direct sequel to, uh, what was that, Spectre last year? Or a couple years ago? Sure. Yeah. Is it continues the story. It's the same, same stuff. Blofeld's around. Oh, Blofeld's around? I don't know if he's in the movie, but like that, that okay. the repercussions of that are still being felt. Okay. Here we go. I can't even remember what happened in the last James Bond. It was Blofeld. I saw it. And they, they fought on the bridge, and then he kind of retired at the end. Oh, yeah. And M died. Oh, that was, no, that was Skyfall. Skyfall. <laughs> That's the, what the, I like that tune. Connor Skyfall. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I betray you? We all have our secrets. We just didn't get to yours yet. The world is arming faster than we can respond. Where's 007? I need a favor, brother. You're the only one I trust for this. The world's moved on, Commander Bond. You were double O. Two years. So stay in your lane. You get in my way. I will put a bullet in your knee. The one that works. I thought you two would get along. Name? Bond. James Bond. So you're not dead. Hello, Q. I've missed you. It's the most valuable asset this country has. If you feel yourself losing control, I'm not going to lose. Control. James? Oh, yeah. You gave up everything for her. When her secret finds its way out, it'll be the death of you. What is it? You don't know what this is. James Bond. Licensed to kill. History of violence. I could be speaking to my own reflection. Only your skills die with your body. Mine will survive long after I'm gone. History isn't kind to men who play God. What's going on? Not really, no. Because you know what the thing is? I'm I don't really remember the continuity of the Craig movies. Because yeah, they're I all yeah. you know, maybe that's maybe that this is an argument for Bond movies being for the most part uh insular. I, insular, yeah. Indi yeah. Individual. Yeah, because sometimes like yeah, because they're like that blonde chick, she's like, You gave up everything for her. I was like, Am I supposed to remember her? I didn't remember who and she was. I don't recall. Yeah, I don't remember her who she at is. all. Yeah. Like, even after Casino Royale, they're like, oh, what's her name? Vespa. You, Vespa. You yeah, loved her right. and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, yeah, she was in that movie. Mm hmm. Was she? I forget. Vespa was in Casino Royale. Well, yeah. No, no, I know. But I'm saying, like, they, they're like, they would bring her up in, like, in movies following mm -hmm. that. And I was like, oh, yeah, oh. Well, they've always structured Bond movies that way. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're just kind of like, I will say this, I appreciate that they're bringing gadgets back into the mix, because it's always been my biggest issue with the Craig movies is that, and, and it's, and it's, it is a, in response to them relying a little too heavily on it in mm -hmm. the, um, in the Pierce Brosnan movies. Uh, you, you think? Oh, there was a lot of weird, yeah, they had a lot of silly gadgets okay. in that one. Um, in, in his movies, at least. Like, the, dude, the, the big solar laser, come on. In, uh... In Goldeneye? No, not Goldeneye. Uh, 
The one, the one with uh, with Halle Berry and uh, oh, 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 yes, there's yes, just yes. a lot of a lot of wacky like sure. the, the the cloaking car and stuff. It was all kind of a little on the ice. That it was, was a little wacky, pretty neat. Yeah, but I see what you're saying. You're saying that a Bond has the same. Like, We're gonna make it gritty, and he's not gonna have it. He's just gonna have his fists. And I was like, no, but at least some like an exploding something. Yeah. You know, like an exploding pen. But like gatling like guns in the, in the lights of a car. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. That is that is textbook. What I show up for that's, for a Bond. Yeah, that's fair. Bond has the same problem that Doctor Who has. That sometimes it relies on the Sonic too much to get out of problems, and sometimes Bond's just too gadgety. And then it's all. But then he also gets into a position where it's like, just use the Sonic screwdriver. Why are we talking so much? Yes. It's the same. You got to find that balance of like, yeah, situational problems that can't be solved with gadgets and or Sonics. Makes sense. Very interesting. Good point. This, I know. This looks really good though. Yes. I just, I, yes. yeah, I, you know what it is? I probably need to go back and watch the other movies just to kind of remember. Yeah. Because, you know what, that could also be the thing. These movies come out three to four years apart from each other. Uh -huh. So it's a little hard to keep the continuity behind. Yeah, it's tough. It's a little tough. I mean, it's awesome. Who do you think is going to sing the song? That's a good question. I hope it's the Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no, no time, time to die. <laughs> <laughs> they should, they should release an album for each one of these movies of just like they should just open up they should just open up submissions to be the Bond the like here's the title of the Bond movie. Write the Bond theme. And like any band can do it. That's you just got a great idea, it. yeah. And then they could just be like, look, like even if we don't use it in the movie, we're going to put out an album of all the versions of the songs that got yeah. submitted, at least the good ones. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. That would be fun. I just, man, I'm just writing you're you just, guys you're, ideas. You're welcome, Sony. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy. Universal. Yeah. Yeah. That's because, yeah. Ding, ding. Yeah. No Time to Die by Bare Naked Ladies. No Time to Die yeah. by Evanescence. No Time to Die by... Yeah. Why has James Bond not, not had more of a theme park presence, do you think? In that... You know, like most like big movie franchises, yeah, this or at is least like the I, who owns who owns James? Uh, the I Bond? think it's Sony and Universal at this point. Does Universal have Bond? Universal has like, Bond. Why is their Bond popped up? Like they put the big Harry Potter stuff up. Like I want to go to like a star, like the Star Wars, like the what, it, what the Galaxy's Edge or whatever. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like very interactive and like very mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. like immersive. Yeah. Like why is there not a James Bond one where it's like you go in and like you're the spy and like you have to figure out. Uh, Maybe it's all too little adult. It might be a little too adult, but also like... Like, ah, oh, you gotta seduce this park worker to get information out of them. Well, if I gotta... All right. Like, oh, sorry, no. Oh, sorry, no. everybody. Oh, no, the pond. Oh, no, the pond park. <laughs> Took a left turn really fast. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Now now I know yeah, why. Yeah, Universal got shut down because they started yeah. hiring prostitutes yeah. for, the bond, for the bond area. No, no, no. I hate this. <laughs> you came up with I, it. I know. I don't like it. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I just touched... I touched the, touched I touched the third it. rail and it was too hot. <laughs> That's not a third rail work, so it's uh, like Dude, also it's very... you're gonna get lawsuits from people having to paint their whole bodies gold and like they get like you know it's like skin. It's just... I mean, maybe you know what it could be is could be maybe like you, you join up with like MI6 or something like that and maybe do some like spy training. I don't think could... I don't know why it's not, I don't know why it, like a theme park that uh, like does not have a James Bond ride, you know. I mean, I guess what it could be like the car going around, cool stuff, yeah, or maybe like a stunt show, yeah, like they did with Indy, uh, oh, at a uh, at that Disney at MGM, so good. they could they could do that. They could do a James Bond stunt show. I love that. You're welcome. You're welcome. That'd be so good. Universal Studios. Yeah, there you go. TM TM trademark TM. Oh, we can't TM. This is it's, the idea. The, the James yeah. Bond. Yeah, you're right. Why are we not Imagineers? I feel like we. Why are we good Imagineers? At, the problem is that like <laughs> we become Imagineers, and like what our process is like we have to like tape ourselves talking about it. Yes, we do. Yeah, it's like we can't, we can't afford this. We can't. Yeah, we just need a we need a full, full studio mm -hmm. with a green screen and a camera where we can like tape ourselves talking about it. And there's magic, and then magic happens. Yeah. This movie looks great. Yeah. I kind of don't know what's going on, but yeah, I like that Remy Malek's the bad guy, and yeah. then a bad guy's got a mask. Is this the first time a bad guy's had a mask? I mean, there's not always like, some like facial. That. There's always some facial thing with a bad guy. Yeah. Like the diamond guy. That I from will the say. Very movie. That was not a good movie. That was a good villain, though. Oh, he yeah, was yeah. Scary as oh, yeah, yeah. They like, always do a pretty good job with the, the character designs of the bad guys. Yeah. I think this is the first one, at least I, I can remember, that actually just has a mask. It bums me out, though. Yeah. That, I like the mask because it harkens back to, like, he's Jaws. He's got metal teeth for no reason. 
yeah, like woo, like I love, like I have a hat that can, has got a blade in it for no reason. Like, I love that. Mm -hmm. It's like, I wear a mask, cool, great. You're not just gonna take your teeth out and your face is gonna like get all yeah, weird. That gross, was, yeah. that was, that may be the best Bond movie, like of, of recent years, mm -hmm. but that, that's, that was gross, yeah. Like, no, it was a sound effect too. It was like, yeah, it was a suckling sound, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, prop, in all no. likelihood, nobody really uh -uh. cared about Remy Malik until he wore the mask. So that's probably what's going to happen. I don't know. He's a great actor. We'll see the story. It looks pretty good. It looks really good. Just, I just wish I knew the cat knew a little bit better to be a little bit slightly more hyped, but of course, it's yeah. a Bond film. So I'm going to go see it. Totally. Of course. Jay, yeah. how would you rate the trailer for No Time to Die? Oh, this one's getting seven out of eight. No. No skin on your hands. When he jumps oh, off the thing with the rope, I was like, oh, yeah. oh no, your palms are done. <laughs> They're done. I don't care if you, you can still hang on, but like, even if you like wrap it up where you're not going to like, you know, like slide down the rope, you're going to dislocate your shoulder. Yeah. Your hand's gone. Your shoulder's gone. I appreciate Wait. that they acknowledge that in these movies when she was like, oh, I'll shoot you in your knee. Also, wildly specific, wildly specific threat. That's if you're going to give a good threat, it's got to be like... It's gotta be that specific. Like, oh, if you get my way, I'll just shoot you in your knee. And it's like, oh, you thought about this. <laughs> yeah. But, but it was, she was like, in your good one, I was like, oh, snap. But also they're acknowledging that like, he does some whack stuff. Mm-hmm. He's hurt a lot. Yeah. <sighs> this is good. Look forward to seeing it. Look forward to seeing it. How would you guys rate this trailer? Let us know in the comments below or hop on our Discord channel where lots of fun, cool people are talking about lots of fun, cool stuff. We'd love to have you join that conversation. The link's down below in our description box. And while you're down there, please like, subscribe, hit that bell. Do that YouTube that you do so well. Guacamole's extra, you double O agents, you. I wonder what her number is. She's 007. Oh, she is 007? I'm pretty sure that was the whole thing, that she is a double O agent and she has taken over his number because he has left it. Oh. He's James Bond. He's James Bond, but in this he is not 007. That's the whole thing. And that's why the internet like freaked that's out. That's why the internet freaked out. Because they were I like, oh, we're getting rid of I was about like, that. I was like, Daniel Craig is signed on for this movie. I don't think that makes more they're, sense. They were like, they're doing James Bond without James Bond. I was like, I don't think that's true. I was like, why would they do that? Makes more sense. Yeah. Don't freak out, internet. They got it. Relax. It's all good. Other videos are popping up soon. Please watch those. We would appreciate it as much as we appreciate you watching this one. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.